In this video, I wanna show you how to make kind of an artboard style spread in InDesign. Now, here I am in Illustrator, and what's awesome about Illustrator is that you have all these different artboards on the same canvas, you can move them around, you can change their sizes really easily, you can just do kind of whatever you need to do with all these different artboards. You can even use this to switch them between landscape and portrait, add new artboards, move things around. It's just so easy and I really love this. It's my favorite part of working in Adobe Illustrator. But in InDesign, you can't really do that because you're working on all these different pages and you don't have the ability to really move them around too much. You can pretty easily change the size of one of them, uh, but it's just like this whole, you know, can't really move it up and down sometimes and it still stay, stays within this kind of awkward spread setup. So how do we do something really similar? When we go into InDesign, we'll click new document. And I'm gonna use inches. Let's change from do five by seven. I'll just do my one page. And we'll leave facing pages for now and do our 0.125 bleeds. So we have this one page. And then if we add any additional pages, they're just going to add same size, but they're going to continue to grow into new spreads. So what we're gonna do is right click on here and uncheck this allow document pages to shuffle. And then in the pages panel, we will move this up here until we see the line with kind of the bracket on it. You don't want the straight line, you just want the bracket one. And then we have three pages here on the same spread, basically. We can only move them up and down as long as we have facing pages selected. So if we just go into our setup, we can uncheck facing pages, and then we can also move them all sideways. And we can very easily, with that page tool selected over here, we can change the size and positioning of these. You also can use this edit page size in the bottom of the page panel. So if you do have some like customs set up, so I have like my RSVP card size, and then also my three and a half by five, which is typically my details card size set up. And then that way I basically have more of that illustrator view, but all of the capabilities that I had in InDesign. So I absolutely love this. Personally, I'm an illustrator girly, but I know a lot of you designers out there are InDesign lovers. So this is a way that you can kind of get one of my favorite features from illustrator over into InDesign. Let me know what else you want to learn about graphic design. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you'd use my link to sign up for Adobe Creative Cloud. I'll put that in the description and also a free Adobe Illustrator course if you want to dive into some of the capabilities that Illustrator can offer. It's a really wonderful course for beginners. Thanks, everyone.